U.S. Coast Guard crews in Galveston continue their efforts to reopen the ports and waterways closed by Hurricane Ike. The storm left the waterways virtually unmarked as over 80 percent of the aids to navigation were destroyed or moved. Crews have set up a massive buoy yard, loading buoy tenders with aids as quickly as possible. Slowing progress is the fact that many of the cutters needed to complete the mission are also damaged. Aircraft had to fly repair parts to Galveston for installation. One of those cutters was the Harry Claiborne, whose crew rode out the hurricane and got a first-hand feel of how powerful Ike was. We dropped both anchors. We dropped a 12,000 sinker on the port side, 12,000 sinker on the starboard side. And everybody pretty much was up here the whole time. And when you drop two anchors, you can just imagine how powerful the hurricane was because we dropped two anchors and two sinkers on the side, and it still dragged us. Just outside Galveston, the waterway is littered with ships at anchor waiting to enter the port. Crews are working around the clock to not only position aids to navigation, but also repair and replace equipment used to monitor ship traffic. It is not known when the ports of Houston and Galveston can be reopened. Keeping you informed, Military News on the Pentagon Channel. I'm Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers.